Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I wanted to share some exciting updates for Harbour in this video. If you want to try Harbour right now, you can try Harbour with the discount code half price. So you can see here, add promotional code half price, and this is for the monthly. You can now try Harbour for 14 euros 50 for the first month. <laughs> All my chickens are coming, coming home to roost. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I wanted to share some exciting updates that, ha that we've brought to Harbour in the recent weeks. Now the first thing that we've done, and actually just before we get started, just so you know, you can get Harbour now for $14.50 for the first month. We feel that that's like that's a fair trial for anyone that wants to trial the product. You get 12,000 words, which is around 10 blog posts for 14 euros 50. So please, harborseo.ai, feel free to give it a try and sign up for the monthly using the discount code half price. I want to share some updates here. So the first thing that I've done is I've increased the use of the instructions. So what does that mean? You can now use the instructions to specifically target pages on your website. So if you put collections or categories or service pages in the instructions and say, please use these pages, then it will specifically scrape those pages. Previously, that wasn't the case. It would internally link to those pages, but it wouldn't specifically use those pages. It, would, uh, it wouldn't scrape those pages, but now it scrapes those pages. Another thing that I've changed is if you write make a bar chart or make an infographic or make a comparison table or um, make a key takeaways table or whatever it might be at the very top, it will now specifically make whatever you tell it to make. So if I scroll down here, you'll see there is a beautiful bar chart right here, um, which it Harbor itself has made because I specifically told it to. Now, another really exciting update is I've increased the scraping capabilities of Harbor because I've learned so much recently. And basically what that means is, as you can see, there are many, many more product images in these articles now. And not just that, there are also more internal links to collection pages and other important pages on your website. As you can see, these updates are very, very exciting. And if I just press download content here, just so that we can see uh, the article in its true glory, or I could just zoom out, sorry, I forgot that's why it wasn't working. You can see there's much more side-by-side -side imagery. There are many, many more images, generally speaking, in the articles as well. There are more internal links, and there's more of your proprietary information in the articles as well. Now, another thing that we've done is we have changed slightly the probability of receiving uh, more words. So generally speaking, articles are 1,000 to 1,500 words every single time now, instead of sometimes 600 words, sometimes 3,000 words, which is what Harbour was doing previously. I will say Harbour does have a bit of a mind of its own at times. Um, and then another really exciting update is as you can see here, we're now much more likely to get um, human rating on something like GPT-0. Now, this took me a long fucking time to make all of these changes. I probably put 30 to 40 hours in in the last week or in the last week and a half. So I'm really, really happy with the results here. I feel like the quality of the articles is much better. The internal linking is much better. The image selection and also image inclusion is much better. The human writing is much better. And ergo, the ranking on Google, which is what we actually care about, is much better as well. Now, another thing that I've increased is a change to the latest Sonnet model. You may occasionally see some weird things, like it may say something at the very top, like here's the complete HTML update, just uh, content, just be wary of that. It's the new model. You know, these new models, sometimes they take a little bit of time to settle in, settle down, you know, when they turn the whatever the nozzle is that they turn. 
So I expect that to only be for a week or two, and then it'll probably go back to being as reliable as it was before. Another thing that we changed is it now uses Haiku 3.5 for all of the research instead of Haiku 3, which has increased the quality of the research massively. So you can actually see these things here, you will find these on the internet. That's why they're here. They're already ranking on Google. Sustainable fabrics, bold colors, innovative necklines, statement sleeves, and versatile lengths. These are all topics that Harbor has found online to be ranking around the keyword cocktail dresses or around the topic of cocktail dresses. That's how Harbor works. That's, you know, it does its own research. It doesn't use perplexity. It uses its own propriety scraping and research techniques that I developed myself. So I'm really, really excited to bring these updates to you. I would highly recommend just using the instructions, by the way. I don't bother with any of this enriched content here. It's much better to just use the instructions. So if you want it to include a title about X, include FAQs, you know, whatever you want it to include, you can think of this as like your own personal chat GPT conversation window where you can tell it whatever you want it to do and it will follow those instructions almost perfectly, I would say nowadays. But now that I've said almost perfectly, I already know that someone's going to go and use it right now and it's not going to do what it wants because that is the nature of AI. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Please check out Harbor. I'm really, really happy with how it's generating content right now. I can honestly hold my hands up in the air and say that as long as your website is structured in a proper way, this is currently the best AI content generator on the market. We also have a research tool and an AI guest post linking tool, so please check out those as well. And with that, thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you're interested in making mobile applications using AI to build them, but also using AI within the application itself to sell on the App Store. How fucking sick is that though, by the way?